Please raise your hand if you find it difficult to tell identical twins apart. Wow, it's quite difficult, right? And it actually goes beyond their appearances, down to their DNA. But so what? Why would there be a problem? Actually, that was a real challenge when a man named Dwayne McNair sexually assaulted two young women. The police found that his DNA matched the DNA at the crime scene, but it also matched the DNA of <laughs> Dwight McNair, his identical twin brother. For decades, it was known that identical twins, unlike the rest of people, share identical DNA. Only recently, it was found that there is a good possibility that a teeny tiny change might happen in the DNA of one of the twins, either when they were sharing the same womb or later on after birth. This tiny change is called a mutation, and the mutations in identical twins may only be found in four or five units out of the three billion DNA units, which is almost impossible to find using the standard testing methods. Then, bam, a new technology was developed. It's called Next Generation Sequencing, or NGS. It enables us to look closer and to read every single building block of the DNA chain until we find the needle in the haystack. It employs a unique quality about the DNA itself. A DNA chain is composed of two sides of building blocks that complement each other. And there is an enzyme called polymerase that works as a matchmaker. When we separate the two sides of DNA, this matchmaker will build a perfectly fitting mate for each side using the perfect building blocks. But imagine that. Instead of using ordinary, boring building blocks, we use blocks that whenever they find their mate, they shine. Literally. So with every added block on the DNA, there will be a unique spark. This is how it looks if we study a tiny piece of DNA alone. But with this technology, we can study millions of DNA pieces together. This flow of sparks is scanned and then analyzed by a computer, which will recognize the DNA units one by one. And now we are able to locate any tiny change on the DNA at a much lower cost in a much shorter time compared to the older methods. This technology was a huge success and could be applied to a wide range of science fields, from cancer diagnosis evolutionary biology to studying ancient DNA in mummies. And in the end, and after 13 years of the incident, it could convict one twin and exonerate the other. Thank you. Thank you.